Hi guys, Battlegrave Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Roll the Waves. Uh, last episode went a little bit better than the episode before that one. Uh, we managed to sink a few French ships in retaliation to being sunk ourselves. Austria-Hungary remains to be just a minor player in this war, whereas France is really carrying all of the weight. I don't think it's enough, though. Uh, we are currently almost 10,000 victory points ahead of the combined efforts of the Franco-Hungarian alliance? Question mark. But uh, we, we are being blockaded, so that is not so hot. Under construction, uh, we do have a few ships. A lot of destroyers, a new 11,000 ton thing with two 5-inch guns and eight torpedoes in a centerline swivel mount. Or in three centerline swivel mounts. And then... Wait, this is a rebuild. I asked to change 13 to 14 inch guns and up armored the turrets. And then this Benedito Brins will be coming out, which is a lot bigger. Um, slightly less turret armor, but I think I can always increase the armor once I can get access to oil which I don't think is very long. And of course, both of these Benedito Brins are accelerated, so it'll give, we'll get these faster. What kind of points difference is there in the Mediterranean? Oh, 24 to 63. Yeah, I can see why we are blockaded. Okay, let's continue our turns. Uh, I've got everything in the water. The intelligence service is considering offering safe pet No. Hey! We have quadruple turrets. And an increase in ASW capability. The French lost a destroyer as well, with our sub sinking 14 ships. French only sink one. And Austria only sinks one. And now we have a fleet... battle... Ah, I don't know. If it were to happen next month, I would probably be... I'm going to decline that. Let's get our repaired ships and reconstructed ships into... back into the water. Hey, hey, the latest army offensive has been a complete success, breaking through the front end places. Gained 1,500 victory points, and we now have superimposed turrets on armored cruisers, as well as quadruple turrets. Our sub sank four ships, one French sub sunk. Enemy raid on coastal shipping, so large battle size, but only 60 victory points. Uh, let's accept, but the French decline. What do I have at? Nope. Huh. Indications that Austria-Hungary is engaging in industrial espionage against their ally. Hmm. Shit. 
you. Yeah. And the Italia has condenser trouble. Dead in in their efforts to figure out gyro stabilizers. Seven for one, two for none, two for one. Another fleet battle. I th think. Hmm. It's always a gamble. Maybe if we can... Wow, they are really throwing fleet battles at me. Large battle size convoy defense, which is... Which usually turns out to be just a... a an enemy shore bombardment. <sighs> More large battles. This is getting a little out of hand. What? 12 inch main guns on a battle cruiser in 1915? Weren't the Queen Elizabeth's burnt, uh, burnt, built around this time? Okay, so we will have nothing being repaired in the next turn. Still several months away from getting more ships. Maybe we can... You know what, I think I'm going to try to hold out for eight months, turns. Hey, strikes and anti-war demonstrations in Austria-Hungary. We should not let them get off lightly. We are somehow still kicking their ass. Circulation augmenter. Light forces and torpedo work. Ooh, destroyers of up to 1,500 tons displacement. I think I'm going to attempt to design a new one. We do have the triple mounts now. We lost the Stromboli. It's okay, he was getting fat. Oof. And another fleet battle with nothing. This is so tempting. I mean, so very tempting. Think I'm gonna. I've got nothing being repaired, and this is as good a time as any, you know, before I get more ships. And they just keep throwing fleet battles my way. Hmm. Good. We do have everything. I'm not sure how well these new things are going to do. Yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought there. I'm sorry. Ah. ship sighted, so now I can go to line ahead. It's a shame I couldn't put these three battleships together. Also, they are kind of out of place. Everything that I can put to flotilla attack, I will. Let's get you under AI control. What is it? Dante Alighieri is the Conte di Cavour class, which 
may do better. Speed limited to 22 knots by the weather, which turns out to be our maximum speed. Oh, bravo class. 5,000 tons, 28 knots. Not, wow, they've got a lot of centerline turrets. Two inch belt, kind of light. And there's another bravo class. Let's, all right, what are these? Lisa, Lisa, 12 inch guns, very lightly armored, even more lightly armored than our Lepanto class. But not by much. And a St. George. This poor, poor design. Although, good armor for such a light vessel. Let's try and sandwich this force, if we can. That's a lot of destroyers. Jupiter, 27 knots, 5,000 tons. Decent armor. Hmm. What are you going to do? Turn back? Let's go roughly that way. We'll keep this fleet heading this direction until we can circle around this group. But there are torpedoes in the water. So immediately turn this way. Oh, I need to turn these guys too. Crap. And you guys turn north now. Trying to avoid... <sighs> oh, yeah. Everybody go to squad max. Crap. Hey. There's a destroyer about to go down. I think. Hopefully another one. Better be. Crap. slow you down until you can get that flooding under repair. St. George is dead in the water. Yes, doing lots of good things to bring that under under control. Oh, there's more. The hell did you just launch torpedoes at? Stop doing that. Oh, you launched it at that destroyer. Why? Hopefully the Messina can take out this destroyer that is... Uh, 
There you go. Flooding under, or continuously, continually coming under control. Let's turn this way. Maybe I can get the speed up to eight knots. Keep it. Oh my god! That was quite the spread. Only one hit though. Even though the ship is dead in the water. Should be listed at three knots? Yeah. St. George will be going down and can't even fire any main battery guns at us. Okay, we have these... Ooh. What? Wait, the fuck is that? That's hideous. Austria, no. Eight guns and three turrets. That's... That's a... Uh, I don't like it, but I'm not the one paying for it. So, you know, whatever. And then a Radetsky clap. This is a... Oh, yeah. This is totally a battleship. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, the Lisa, uh, Lisa, whatever, is fleeing. How you doing, Lepanto? Flooding of zero. Nice. Still max speed of only 16 knots, so we'll just do that. Hopefully the speed doesn't rupture any bulkheads, because that would suck. Oh, oh crap. Oh, no torpedoes, please. And the Dante Alighieri. Oh, it's, we are losing daylight. Let's get the Dante under our control so that we can make a beeline for these two battleships. That's not a dreadnought, is it? Oh, no, it's the same thing. I got very confused for a second there. But here comes our Pisa. Can we get some? Yes. Wait. Darn it. Don't do things like that. It's bad. Good. Do either of these have torpedoes? Yes, this does. And... <coughs> okay. And this also does. I need to be very conscious. Turn this way. Now I'll turn that way. Yeah. Let's try and fire a torpedo at you. Take a thuff. Yeah, we'll do that. Volume warning. We'll only fire one for now. Let's get this uh, pizza to just kind of slow down a hair for a little bit. 
Ah. Oh. Oh, crap. That's what I get for not paying attention. Turn, Dante. Turn. Wait. I don't know what I clicked. So, Lepanto must be paired with Vettor Pisani. At least I think so. These destroyers don't need to be traveling so close to cruisers, enemy cruisers that is. Getting some good hits on this Tegetov. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing... Yes. <laughs> Magazine explosion on the Radetsky, which means more guns on the Tegetov. Presumably, at least. These destroyers are circling back towards me. Everybody turn south. East. Southeast. And destroyers making a torpedo launch on the Tekatov. And of course the Pisa is hit by a torpedo. Even though I just can turn out of the way of stuff like that. What are you looking like? 274? Top speed of 14. Oh, no, 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 not the Dante. Crap. And the Dante can go back up to squad max. starting to get dark so I would really like to get out of here ooh, ooh this looks nice so yeah I will I will turn south Everybody link back up. Three torpedo hits in the past like two minutes. Oh, dead in the water. Please tell me. Yes, going down. <laughs> All of the main battery turrets have been destroyed. And Pisa is hit by another torpedo. Take it off, hit once again by a torpedo. 180 is the flotation damage on the Pisa, even though he's taken two torpedoes, so this, this is a little comforting. This Cobra needs to get the hell away. I bet that was the one that fired the torpedo. Alright, stop targeting the Tegatov. It is going down. Alright, yeah. Everybody go home. To Brindisi. Time to manually control this armored cruiser. Protect. Whew. Well, 
Why were you only... Oh, yeah, that's right, because of the pizza. I don't know what's going on with that. That destroyer going down is completely fine. Everybody needs to protect the pizza, please. Pretty please. Dante Alighieri is... Oh dear. When did you take a torpedo? Oh. Crap. Dante, get back down to like four knots. Go this way, please. You are going to go down, and I'm going to be very mad. sworn I put the Dante Alighieri on like four knots. Oh, I've been without the Lepanto for a long time. How are you doing? Been damaged. Just one turret destroyed. And it is the turret behind you. I guess everybody just heads south. Only like a quarter of the way into the battle. I, I'm not sure if that's an armored cruiser. It is. A Maris. Look at that. Ooh. Someone took a page from my book. Holy crap, that is a monster. That is a fucking monster. Oh crap. Pino is sinking. Vetter Pisani, what you doing? Chasing destroyers. Yeah, I was waiting. Er. So I believe we will still come out on top if we don't lose any other ships. Oh, yeah, nice. A couple of destroyers down here that I missed.
but they didn't. Flooding damage of one. Still flooding damage of one. Let's go eight knots. Uh-oh. Yes, keeping the destroyers away from the Pisa. Good. And Lepanto coming back from all the way in the north. Messina will be probably going down. None of the speed points. That's okay. Okay, Pisa. Back home. Vetter Pisani and Lepanto will be bringing up the rear. Lepanto, I can bring down the cruise speed, I guess. Okay, keeping Lepanto and Vettor Pisani together. Here come some cruisers to make sure that we don't get snuck up on. Lepanto rejoined with the Pisa, so now I've got to... Never mind. Are we going to keep going eight knots? Because that would be great. Has the Pisa... What? Hold on. Um, all right, I need to bring that speed down, down to four. Huh. Okay. And there's the Messina. How are you doing? You can do a knot. Maybe you can make it home. Yes to all. I think I did okay in this battle. Why do I always get surprised by the second force? Huh. Yeah, destroyers. I don't I don't recommend doing that. Oh. Fire your damn torpedoes, boy.
Are you really a battle cruiser? I don't think so. I think you are that armored cruiser. And what did happen to your speed? All right, splinters, perforate, uptakes. Yes, please go away. And Messina is starting to make steam. I think those are destroyers. I really hope they are destroyers. Can't fire at them until they move to about right there. Out of ammo, yeah. That's moving very quick for a battleship. Can the Vettor keep up? Mm. I don't want to turn any of these ships around to help him because I know what will come. I just hope they're out of torpedoes. That would be swell. Uh, from what? No, I missed that one. Yeah. I've got nothing telling me I guess it was all of the destroyers firing guns at me. Be nice to know what what kind of ship landed the finishing blow. Well, there's a chance that we end up winning the fight. The fuck? Come on. You're... You were going four knots. You had better have stayed fucking four knots like I told you to. How fast is LePen... Um, that... Yeah. Lepanto, why are you still, oh, right, yeah, four knots. That's a heartbreaker. So I guess we did not win this, this damn fight. I don't care about the the hit on a sinking ship. Er, I had a stupid attack. And before Lepanto sinks somehow. Ah. I mean, I did pretty well, I think.
considering what I had, at the very least. Can I go faster? Because I'd like... Oh yeah, Messina. You can do seven knots now, so please do. Could you not? Oh dear. Oh. You are barely afloat. Was that an armored cruiser? I'm not sure who's going to come out as the victor. Let's just play. 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 Let's get you going that way. What is your... Still seven. Okay. You're gonna get shot at. Please stop. Ah. Uh, stop pausing. Everybody is in retreat mode. Oh. Maybe it was a battle cruiser. Well, shit. Yep, getting fired on. Can I at least... Yeah, I might be able to take out the Bravo on the way through. If the Messina doesn't get blown out of the water. Just play. Yay, Ultra Fest! Until the end of time. Who won? Major victory! Damn it. What? Wow, they lost 14. Wait a second. They lost a Dreadnought and a regular battleship and they lost significantly more than I did how in the fuck is that a major victory for them also they did not fail at sinking any two ships alright ah damn that was that was a heartbreaker. If I didn't lose the La Pen no, the Pisa. If I didn't lose the Pisa, that would have been a completely different story. Damn. We are still ahead on victory points by roughly 5,000. Ah, keep losing prestige over that one. All right, well, I've got to leave the episode off on an unhappy note. Thank you very much for watching, though. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.